Welcome back to another Adventures with John Jr. video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, and night. Today's video, we're out here at Universal City Walk because we're gonna get a few updates, a few updates to tell you guys, a few merchandises, um, supposedly elder dining, question mark, who knows? Also, some new voodoo donuts, Valentine's voodoo donuts, which I'm excited to see. Also, I wanna get myself a butterbeer. I don't know which kind. It is not, it's not that chilly, but it's also not that hot, so, I'm like conflicted to get hot butter beer or frozen butter beer, but who knows? I'll see what my taste bud is right now. I'm very excited. I haven't been here in a very long time. It's been the last time I've been in here at University Walk was when the donuts were stopped. When that was the last day for the Lard Lad Donuts. So, yeah. So let's come get some updates and come along. And without further ado, let's continue on with today's video. So we are starting inside the studio store, and if you guys can see here, it is no longer filled with any Grinchmas. It is just filled with Universal Studios Hollywood themed merchandise. So we're gonna get to it right now. We got some studio tour frames. So it looks like that you're inside the cart of the studio tour tram. We got some really neat mugs right here. Universal Studios with the globe, really cool. We got a like tie-dye collection of Universal Studios Hollywood and a gray like lined sweater, which looks really cool. I love that. Universal Studios hat, it kind of looks like a college campus hat, which is really, really neat. And it's actually like embroidered. So it's like that textured, that little textured font. We got another Universal Studios Hollywood themed hat right here. It's really cool with the globe and this is Universal Studios Hollywood. So here's like a closer look of that gray lined hoodie, which retails for $50. And also, instead of the yellow one, they have a blue tie-dye, Universal Studios. And I think this is for kids, because the shirts are really small. Um, but this shirt retails for $28. Lots of cool little shot glasses for the 21 and over, and some mugs that just have Universal Studios Hollywood themed logos. And here we have like a picture, like a picture holder, so you can put your pictures like on these little clamps. And in the back of it has like those little um, safety pins or the clappers. And here is just an array of new keychains and pins. It's like the studio tour is really being highlighted, which I miss so much. Do you, do you comment down below if you miss the studio tour tram? I really do miss it. And these are like metal earth. So I guess you can build your own arch and your own globe out of these metal. Really cool. So scratch that, they don't only have kids shirts, they have adult shirts in these tie-dye blue uh, Universal Studios logo Hollywood shirts. But they're just right here, they are not hanging. Really cool. Now here on the shelf we have a bunch of Universal Studios themed, uh, like this is like from since 1912, since 1912 merchandise label. So we got one that says 12 in Universal Studios Hollywood. They got like this little long sleeve sweatshirt. This is Universal Studios with the 12 in the sight of the star. Maybe we got some fanny packs here, some little tiny little backpacks. You can put like your cell phone, a portable charger, your wallet. Pretty neat. Universal Studios has really cool hats here. Look at that. It's like on the side of the hat, which is neat. And here they have these Universal Studios Hollywood sweater, which actually turned into a backpack or a tote bag or like one of those drawstrings backpacks. Really cool, and it says established 1912. And down here, Universal Studios established 1912. And like right here, I'm gonna give you a closer look. It says converts from fleece to drawstring backpack, which is actually really cool. Because sometimes sweaters can just take up too much space in your backpack when you're out in the, taking a trip to the parks. So we have so much tie-dye options. We have a pink option. And then also we've seen the yellow one on the mannequin, but there's a the yellow one. But here next to it, we got like a really, really neat backpack, Universal Studios, and it has a universe, it's just labeled to Universal Studios, so it's not like a Hollywood, so you could take this to Orlando, anything, so it's really, really cool. I love this backpack. It has a lot of zipper options too, and it's like pretty lightweight. It's not like a very heavy backpack, so when you're out in, in parks, it has little, uh, little cup, cup holders here, so you can put your water bottles, your sodas, and they have two, so that's pretty cool. Question, so are people still watching Trolls? <laughs> I, they have just so much Trolls, new Trolls merch. 
I'm not familiar with Joe's. I have never watched the movie. I've heard about it. But look, it's just a full shelf and stand dedicated to a bunch of trolls. New merchandise. Look at here, just a bunch of Trolls merch. Crazy, right? I don't watch Trolls, but if you guys watch Trolls, they have a lot of merch for you guys here. So here's all the mask options that they have for you guys. Uh, same style mask as we've seen before in, in other videos that I've done in Update City Walks. Um, but uh, yeah, same thing, but the Christmas masks are still for sale. And I think they are $4.99. Yes, yeah, $4.99, so you can still get your Christmas masks, you can save them for next year or just have them for memorabilia of like us wearing masks, I don't know, we might still be wearing masks next year, who knows, but the sale is still going on for 3 for 20 so I feel like it's a bargain, a bargain for sure. So we are now in the Simpsons section and they have a, and all the Christmas Simpsons stuff is off, and now it's just for Duff Beer, we got Duff Beer shirt that says, mmm, beer, as like Homer says, mmm, donuts. He says the same thing for beer. And this nice hoodie that has a Duff beer on it. And a Duff beer themed backpack which has a bottle opener. Which is really cool. Multitask, multi-purpose. We love it. And then we got uh, Duff beer uh, like steins to put your beer in or soda. Whatever you got to put in there. And then we got these Duff, just the Duff beer themed shirts. It's really cool. And I'm not sure what these cans are. Oh, it has actually a shirt inside. Let's pick one up. So this Duff Beer uh, thing is, has a shirt, which is the one that's labeled on the mannequin. So you can get like a little free little piggy bank. And on top of that, you can get a shirt alongside of it. So we're now into the studio souvenirs. And I see that we got a few new lounge backpacks. I think they're called lounge flies. They're just like new little Hello Kitty backpacks here. And this little stand right here. But also, there's a few new merchandise pieces over here that are labeled to the Minions. Look at that. I don't think we've seen this mug before. And if we have, you're gonna see it again. <laughs> but we also have this like awesome Minion backpack, which is really cool. I don't wanna like, look at that. This is a really cool backpack, I really love that. And also, Sleepy Kittens. No way, can you put your fingers through them? That's so awesome. Remember Sleepy Kittens? If you're a Despicable Me fan, you know what Sleepy Kittens are. So cool. It was really neat. So here across the wall, we have a bunch of new Hello Kitty plushies and just new little Hello Kitty merchandises with Jurassic Park tumblers. And like, it's like, oh, it's like Hello Kitty is like riding the rides of the classic iconic attractions on Universe Studios, which is really cool. Really neat. I actually really do. And look, it's Hello Kitty in a popcorn bucket and her with 3D glasses. It is so cool. We even got a whole section of Jaws. Hello Kitty Jaws, or if we like it to call it, Paws. You get it? Because she's a kitty. Paws. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Anyways, here we got a bunch of cool stuff like a Kitty Jaws notebook. We got like a towel. We got like a an action figure, a vinyl figure, and we got plushies, and we even got some tumblers of Hello Kitty in Jaws. That's awesome. That's really cool. And even some. Oh, we even got some like pins of like Hello Kitty on the attractions. We got E.T. We got Jaws, and we even got some keychains down here. The same thing, which is really cool. Hello Kitty, man. And look at this backpack. Look at this cool. And this is like a little zipper so you can zip up the, the head of the shark, which is really neat. Man, look at Hello Kitty just living life. Unbothered, untouched, unpressed. Damn, I wish I had her attitude. So sorry, they're blasting music right now, so if you can hear stuff, that's probably why. But there's a, a, a pole obstructing my view. <laughs> um, there's not a lot of activity going on. As same thing, like there's just not a lot of activity going on here in, inside the park. Um, it's still sad and empty. Um, there's a few cones going down all the way over there, so I don't know what that is or if that means anything. But uh, the fountain of the uh, front fountain right here is the water is turned off, so that's a sad sight to see. But I hope they end up opening the upper lot to do like a, a shopping and dining, like this, like an extension to City Walk. That'd be really, really cool. 
but so far no progress yet there's no word on whether this is opening or any rumors about it opening so I guess time will tell we'll see comment down below if you guys want the upper lot to open for dining and, and shopping I think it'll be a really neat idea and really really it'll be like a money maker for them for sure people will for sure come to city walk just for this all right everyone so I'm on the top where the food court but if you guys can see they have now added tables and chairs here for you to dine outdoors and all of it are very separate and also not just that up here with all the food courts around here everything is not blocked off anymore you can come walk this way you can walk that way and the tables are open for you to come and sit take off your mask to chill and drink some water eat some food grub at city walk which is such a very happy sight to see and city walk man has been getting some traction this weekend and today i feel like i feel like the main source or like the main traction for city walk to be so operational for people to come is the dining which is such a true fact because i've seen the way we walked over here to Anto through hanto Hiros, through johnny rockets people are already eating and dining so yeah, City Walk, man, it's, 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 it's thriving right now because everyone's coming to eat and that's just like their main source is the dining because people love to come and dine and shop and come and enjoy the jams that they play right here on the big Jumbotron. Yeah, I love to see this for City Walk because City Walk has been such empty and dead and I love to see that people are coming here and eating and just coming and shopping and everything, which is really cool. So, yeah, come down to City Walk, guys, if you're... If you want to come out just to eat, a lot of the tables are social distanced. A lot of the stuff here, like nobody's even over here on this side. You can come and eat, which I'm going to show you. If you guys want to be really, really distant and really, really like not close to anyone, I'm going to show you a place where you can come and eat at. So here additional seating. Right when you get out from the escalators, which is by, by me, you can walk through all the way through here. There's a lot of tables and chairs set up and nobody comes here. I think people just don't know about it. And if you can see here, nobody is up here. Just like a cup over there, but like all these tables are so empty. And you can sit by the Kong, you can sit by Kong and just grub and eat here. This is like the most distance that you can ever be up here. Alright, so we're out here by Voodoo Donuts and there's quite a line and I'm not gonna wait in the line because I've been doing really good on my intermittent fasting diet. And I don't want to ruin it by eating uh, a bunch of Voodoo Donuts, but uh I will put up a picture of how the Valentine's Donuts looks like right now so you can see how the Valentine's Donuts look like but over here in front of Voodoo Donuts there's a really long line but uh, yeah so I won't be trying donuts for you guys I'm so sorry I know you guys I, I really wanted to do a taste test for my dad and have him try the donuts as well but I just don't want to uh, ruin my diet because I really know once I eat one donut that's it the whole week the whole month the whole year I'm going to be eating donuts so just I hope you guys understand but yeah I, I'll add a picture right here in front of these Voodoo Donuts so now that outdoor dining is open and available here at City Wall, you can enjoy your hot, your frozen, and your classic butterbeer here at Universal Studios City Walk. I got a frozen butterbeer, so I'm gonna enjoy it right now. So here we're on the top over here by I don't know, by all the food stuff. I've never actually never been up here, so this is my first time coming up here. And this is really cool. So I want to give you like an overview shot of how City Walk is looking right now. You can see Kong. And we could just see everyone walking by, people enjoying some bubble gum or bubble shrimp or whatever it's called. Oh, bubble gum, it's right there. And like all the all the tables are filled. People are really dining here at City Walk. Now, if we go this side on the other side, and if you look on this side, so many people walking around enjoying some nice food at Johnny Rockets, enjoying some food at Antojitos, bubble gum. Look at that. This is like this is like the most I've seen City Walk like be thriving. Like City Walk is thriving right now. Really cool. Also, also I secured a butter beer for me to eat drink right now. So I'm gonna drink it up here since there's not a lot of people up here. I'm still kind of like you know a little bit sus to like kind of drink around people, but let's do this right now. All right, guys. So I have secured my frozen butter beer. I haven't had frozen butter beer in so long. The last time I have it, had it was inside the park. So we already know how long that is. We don't need to keep reminding you how long that's been. Um, so, I, but I had the hot butter beer. It's not really cold here, so um, I, I wasn't like really like the, the weather for a hot butter beer. So I wanted to get the frozen butter because I haven't, I haven't had this in a very long time. So let's try this. Oh, that's Jesus juice right here. This is some Jesus juice. Mmm. Wow, that's really really good. I miss frozen butterbeer. I also miss like, look where we're at. We're dining at City Walk, guys. Like, we're sitting here at City Walk. Wow, 
I've actually never done this. I, have I, I actually have, I've, I've drank butterbeer in on City Walk property, but oh man, this is awesome. So happy. We got Kong next to us again. We got Mr. Kong, the beast, the king. Well, his name really is King Kong, so he really is the king. <laughs> That's just so good, yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, w I wanted to get Voodoo Donuts, but we already know. Uh -uh. I've been doing really good with my diet, with my intermittent fasting. I've been sharing a little progress. Like, I feel like my face is slimming a little bit. It probably doesn't look like because I need to shave, but. Mm. I love frozen butter beer. Frozen butter beer, hot butter beer, the two favorites. Those are the only, those are the only ones that are really good. Like, let's be honest. The classic one, eh. Frozen, mm-hmm. Hot, hot butter beer, top tier. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy this butter beer. Sit here, relax, and chill. Let the wind come to my face. And then uh, we'll end the day. It's the last. This is our last stop. Thank you guys so so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked to be, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification to be notified every time I'm inside the parks. Sorry the music is a little loud, but the, the music is just blasting here at City Walk right now. Um, but thank you guys so so much. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the updates. Hope you guys enjoyed like everything in today's video. Um, if you guys want to come out to City Walk, come down to City Walk. Outdoor dining is now here. I feel like the traction of people are coming because outdoor dining is now available, and that's the main source of City Walk is dining because people love to dine at Antojitos. They love to dine at Johnny. Rockies, Bubble Gump, or Bubble Gump, Bubble Shrimp, Bubble Shrimp, I don't even know what it's called, <laughs> um, but all the restaurants here, people love to dine, so if you want to come out here just for like a Friday night, or just like a, you know, just like a little date night, or just to come out just to walk around, come down to City Walk and come show them some love. Without further ado, thank you guys so, so much, and as always, I'll see you guys in the parks.